Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Rick Osborne Jr. with Geology Rock, Stillwater Hiker, AKA Rock and Roll. I am at the Peter Mountain Shelter right now. Uh, got about three miles uh, in from where I spent the night last night. Today's day six of my Appalachian Trail hike 2023. And uh, plan on doing about 20 miles today, and then I'll be staying in a shelter. So I got my back, my pack all fully loaded. About three days of food, my tent, everything in there for me to stay out. Um, one thing I wanted to bring to everyone's attention is what happens when you get to a shelter. Well, this is a great shelter. It has a privy. You got boxes for uh, the bears. You can put your food in. Um, there's a privy, uh, a, 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 again, here uh, to go bathroom. There's a creek, normally some type of water source. Um, all the communities that do and maintain the trail do a fantastic job on, on shelter. Some shelters are smaller than others. This one is actually really big, very uh, well built, probably could sleep about 20 in here if you needed to. Um, so it's just nice to get to a shelter because you have those type of amenities. Um, in each shelter, you're going to see a log book just like this. Uh, and you get to put your name in there uh, just to sort of keep track of, of who's on the trail. Um, if you're st staying a lot of times at shelters, it's sort of fun to find out who was there last or who was there first. And uh, it's a good way to sort of know who's on the trail too, to uh, just, just, to talk along so there's some funny sayings that you get in these um uh and 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 such so like for instance this fellow says tim checked in hiked all morning didn't see a soul sobo flip-flop finally the fog is clearing up and i can get some valley views that was pretty cool um let's see a couple days ago back in march uh it says uh, well, we made it to, we made it back alive, three more miles, up the hill we go. <laughs> uh, and then someone says, thank you, SATC, that's the Saskiawana uh, Trail Club, uh, for an immaculate trail, PATC, GPS Rangers, Cindy, Jeff, Michael, and Meatball. I'm training for the Camino in Portugal and I leave on April, the bird woman. So uh, just to give you an idea of what uh, you, you do uh, run across on, on these little shelter, uh, mountain uh, shelter journals. Um, so I'm gonna fill this out. I'm gonna uh, use the privy and keep on hiking. Not gonna stay here tonight, but got a lot of miles ahead of me and uh, I'll be catching up with you. Have a great day, and it's Good Friday. a pretty good water source right here flowing real nice has a lot of iron in it you can see it by the red tint in those leaves so i'm good on water right now but uh the next spot i'll get some a couple miles up um
Oh, yeah, we have a nice gradual ascent. It's about three miles over 1,400 feet, so it's been easy. Yeah, definitely up, though. And uh, I'm just amazed looking at all this rock everywhere. I mean, it's just basically mountains of broken up sandstone. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so pretty neat. I'm heading up that way. Right there. just stopped for a 10 minute break for the last push of the night uh, we got about 2.5 miles mostly all downhill 400 foot of uh, descent so uh, and then we're going to the Roush shelter but I was reading some of the comments where I'm at, it's called Cold Trail or Cold Stream Trail. And in the summertime, everyone's commenting about the rattlesnakes that are right here where I'm sitting. So it is chilly out and those rattlesnakes are not around, which you don't hurt my feelings. So it's about 7 p.m. And uh, I'm going to get to the shelter and get set up and get some dinner and call it a night. So, just stretching out my back. Um, and uh, beautiful, quiet night. Every once in a while, there's a breeze. But for the most part, I think it's going to rain. So, I got to get going. Because uh, it feels like humid, but but chilly. So, I uh, don't want to get caught in the rain, but I'll talk to you later. Well, good morning. It is day seven on the Appalachian Trail. Stayed at Roush Shelter last night. When I came in, I had a bunch of pictures my phone was all back um, was all messed up because I couldn't take any more photos because I was out of storage so I got that all cleaned up just got here to this little beaver dam this is our crossing so I'm gonna have to negotiate over that but again got in late last night did over 20 yesterday got in the in the dark it was cold there was a nice uh, family, uh, a dad and, her, and his daughter at the uh, shelter. 
It's about 9 a.m. A lot going on here. And uh, got my storage all figured out so I can start video and taking some pictures. But look at that sun. So we're going to try to get another 20 miles out of today. That'll put us at the over the 1200 mark on the trail. And it uh, looks like we got a beautiful Saturday to do it. All right. I will catch up with everybody later. All right. We are on top of, I believe, a second mountain. <clears throat> a lot of uh, scarred and charred wood up here. Um, don't know if it was a controlled burn, but in any event, it's all nice and clear and open and smells like firewood. <laughs> so I got up on top, I was getting all sweaty and decided to get on my new shirt. This is a Sims shirt that I got for when it warms up like it is. It's still a little chilly, but it was time to break it out. And it feels really good. Still got my long underwear on. And uh, those will be coming out sooner than later. But uh, yeah, I figured out I want to go to Shelter 501. Looks like there's a some type of shelter keeper there. It's interesting. And there's a solar shower. So I don't know if any of that's open, but it's not exactly solar time. Um, but uh, today's day seven again. And I'm going down into Swatara Gap. And uh, that's it. It is quiet, no wind, and uh, thinking about lunch. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, talk to you later. All right, this is pretty cool. Just came out of the woods, and now I'm. Right along this nice open field.